groups of the periodic table. There are four groups that we're going to be looking at, four main groups that I want you to know are the alkaline metals, alkaline earth metals, halogens, and the noble gases. So with your familial, familiarity with the periodic table, and you should have one handy throughout the entire chemistry unit. Always have one handy while watching these podcasts. We're going to notice that group one, the very first element, uh, sets of elements um, along on the left-hand side of the aluminum ladder, or the left-hand side of the periodic table, are called the alkaline alkaline metals. And one thing to notice that the one element that's not included along this group are is hydrogen. Okay, hydrogen is not part of the alkaline metals. Everything just below hydrogen in that group is considered an alkaline metal. So they're metals. They're very reactive. They consist of one valence electron and it easily loses that one valence electron. And whom will it lose it to? It will lose it to a non-metal on the opposite side of the periodic table. Okay? When they lose that electron, they form what we call cations. Okay? And ion, and we're going to look at it in one of the uh, future chapters, ions are atoms that contain some kind of a charge. So ions, either positive or negative charges, but in terms of this, it loses an electron, cations become positively charged. And we're not going to worry too much about that um, just yet until one of the later chapters. And a few examples, lithium, sodium, potassium, and these are all listed here. Okay. Next group in the PRI table, right next to it in group number two, are the alkaline earth metals. Okay, they too are metals, hence the name alkaline earth metals. They're not as reactive as alkaline metals, okay, which means reactivity lowers as we move from left to right towards the aluminum ladder in terms of the metals. Okay, they consist of two valence electrons, and we said in a previous uh, lesson that the period number, sorry, the group number, tells us the number of valence electrons. Group number two, two valence electrons. Okay. Now, um, they have a tendency to lose those two valence electrons, and whom do they lose them to? Well, they lose them to another nonmetal. And again, because they lose electrons, they form cations. Okay, two examples here, magnesium, calcium, and we have a list of the alkaline earth metals here over um, on the right-hand side. Okay, moving on, and now we're moving to the complete opposite side of the um, uh, complete opposite side of the periodic table, and we're moving now to the right of the aluminum staircase. We have what we call the halogens, and the halogens are part of group seven or group seventeen. Okay, they are obviously because they're to the right of the aluminum ladder, aluminum staircase. They are considered non-metals. They too are very reactive, and they have a tendency to gain an electron from a metal. And we said the metals lose the electrons. Non-metals like to gain the electrons. And because they gain the electrons, we form what we call anions. Okay? We form anions. So met non-metals become anions. Metals become cations. Okay? Uh, as we said, group 7 or group 17, however you want to look at it, consists of seven valence electrons. So very important uh, concept here to recap. Okay? from a previous lesson. Okay, next one. Okay, the very last uh, group to the right of the periodic table are called the noble gases. They are part of group eight or 18. They include helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. They are very stable elements since their valence is full. Okay, they, fit, they fulfill something called an octet rule. Okay, meaning um, full set of uh, electrons or or with the ones that we looked at we're going to be looking at eight electrons and we said in a previous one helium is the only one that does not have eight valence electrons okay it's the only one that actually has two valence electrons 